Hey guys, I'm Trish Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. I finally have like a legit makeup tutorial today. You're welcome. It's about time. So this is a summer makeup tutorial. This was inspired a very long time ago when it started to get like we would have random warm days here in like March. So I went to a local college that my friends go to and I like went to a darty there. And this one girl who I went to high school with, but she graduated a few years above me, she was wearing this eye makeup. It was like peachy and she just had on mascara and it just looked so good. So I always knew that when summer rolled around, like that was the look that I wanted to do and I wanted to film a video with it. So I've wanted to do this for a really, really long time, um, but I, it just hasn't been like the appropriate time, but the time has finally come where it's appropriate. My high school graduated last night. Everyone's like done. Everyone's out of school pretty much. My friends from UCLA are coming home, so it's like officially summertime over here in Philly. My extensions are playing me right now. This is the look. It's not super dewy compared to like Nikki and Jeffrey and like all of them and stuff. But for me, because I prefer more of a matte look on myself, this is pretty glowy, pretty dewy for me. And it's like my right amount of dew and glow. So to me, this is a very glowy look. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm glad you stumbled upon this tutorial. If you guys want to subscribe, Feel free, I upload a lot of fitness videos, I do a lot of makeup videos. Thank you guys for 350,000 subscribers. I feel like we just hit 300,000 subscribers and now we're like halfway to 400,000, which is insane. All right, I'm gonna go, enjoy the video. Jumping right on into it, I'm going to start off with my base. These are my favorite summer products ever. Um, so this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Skin Complexion Perfector. I've been talking about this for like a year now, and I always, always mix it with the Maybelline BB Cream. I never use the Urban Decay thing on its own. I just think it doesn't really work well on its own. It's very blotchy and splotchy, but mixed with the Maybelline, it's a dream, and I love this combo. I literally wear it every single day. After that, I like to go in and glow me up a little bit. This is the Chanel Tan de Soleil Bronzer, Cream Bronzer, and this is a MAC 130 brush. I just put this where you would bronze your face, which is the um, hollows of your cheekbones, forehead, jaw, and then I go in and I just, you know, buff it out with a beauty blender as needed to keep it nice and soft. This just keeps me glowy without having to use a ton of powder, even though I do go in with powder over top of it. Whatever, this is just the way I like to do it. Who remembers this concealer? It is so OG. It's by MAC and it's like so OG, I love it. And it's really fun, I feel like a makeup artist whenever I put on a concealer with a concealer brush, like I kind of feel like Jeffree Star, kind of feel like makeup by Mario. Is it bad that I put them in the same category? I don't think so. I know some people are, whatever. Okay, moving on, anyway, under my eyes to conceal my dark circles and then up onto my eyelid to prime my eyes and then I also put this on the high points like my nose in between my eyebrows and on my lip and on my chin for the record by the way I love Jeffree Star I think he's an icon I'm obsessed with it I think he's amazing then of course I go in and I buff all of that out with a beauty blender now I'm going to set my face sorry I had to like adjust the lighting this is the RCMA no color powder um, it's just a translucent powder and I love this I'm just using it to set where I put the concealer. I'm not putting this all over my face. I'm gonna let the other product, powder products that I use set the rest of my cream base. And I find that that just helps me use less powder and it keeps me looking less cakey. To warm up my skin, I'm using the Tardis Pro Glow and I'm using the contour shade. Even though it's a contour shade, I still use it all over my face, almost as a bronzer. And I think it's beautiful because it's very neutral in the sense that it is more on the cool side, but it does have the warm, orangey undertones to it so it can really warm up your complexion but it also chisels out your face I think it's a beautiful beautiful shade I've not been able to put this palette down since I got it I really think it's worth the money um, it's probably my favorite makeup palette that I own honestly it's amazing then this is the Becca Cosmetics um, why am I blanking on the name champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill whatever that iconic collab and I am putting this on my cheekbones this highlighter just to me is summertime like I really don't wear this in the winter I don't really wear it any other time other than the summer just because when it shines on your skin with the Sun in the summertime it is just like it's a moment it really is 
If you remember this blush, you are so OG and I love you forever. This is MAC Stereo Rose Mineralized Skin Finish. Look at that glow it just gives your cheeks. It just leaves you glowy, dewy, radiant, and just makes it look like you're smiling all the time and almost like someone just came over and pinched your cheeks. I think it's such a cute look. I did the brows off camera. Now I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette because, again, this screams summer. I'm going to take Puree on a MAC 224 and throw this into my crease and just buff this all around. Um, yeah, I just like this as a transition shade because there aren't really transition shades in this palette. Um, but I think this is a great one. You could also put this all over your lid if you wanted to as well. But I mean, that's a different look. Um, now I'm going to take this color called Charmed, I'm sure, on a smaller, more defined brush. I'm just going to smudge this along my upper lash line. Super, super messy, as you can tell. I'm not really doing this in any sort of... Um, clean fashion or good style or anything. I'm really just getting it on there as best I can. This is going to give depth to our eye underneath our eyeshadow. You'll see with the next step when I layer light color over top of it that it just adds definition to your eye. Um, this is Luscious, which is my second favorite color in the palette. I'll show you guys my first favorite color later. But this is a beautiful bronze shade and I just throw this all over my lid. And then I just go back in with the H24 and blend everything together. Now I'm going to take a MAC 222 and the color Candid Peach, which is my favorite color ever in the whole palette. I'm just going to throw this into the crease. This is going to peach in it up, warm it up a little bit. This is, I think, what makes it a very summery look is this step right here. Now I blended Puree, Charmed I'm Sure, and a little bit of Candid Peach, and I am smudging this along my lower lash line. Um, and this is all that I'm doing on the bottom of my eye. I always like to put shadow underneath my eye just to balance it out and make it not so top heavy, but you can skip this. I know a lot of people don't always like stuff under their eyes, so this is totally up to you. Now I'm gonna take Nectar on a smaller, more defined shader brush. And this is going to be our highlight shade for our eye. So this is going on the inner corner, center of our lid, and underneath the brow. I don't know if you guys noticed the difference. When I put this on the very center of my lid, it really just made my eyes pop and kind of come alive. So make sure you guys don't skip out on that. It's a really good little trick. And you can use that like every day in your makeup routine just to make your eyes look bigger and more awake. Try it out. I am not using false eyelashes in this look. I know what you're thinking. Tori, are you okay? And the answer is, um, I think so. Um, this is Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I honestly forgot how much I love this mascara. I think I forgot how much I enjoy mascara to begin with because I've been wearing fake eyelashes like every single day of my life. But this look has no liner on the top, no liner on the bottom, no liner anywhere. I absolutely love the look of upper lash mascara and lower lash mascara with like peachy bronze shades. I think it is stunning, absolutely gorgeous, and especially on light colored eyes. I think it just makes your eyes stand out. Feel free to add liner if you feel more comfortable with liner. Remember, this is your look. You do whatever you want with it. I'm just a guide. I'm here just to sort of like give you a little bit of guidelines to follow, but you can absolutely do whatever you want. Moving on to lips, this is a new MAC lipstick. If you guys saw my Instagram story yesterday, you guys know that I literally was like a kid in a candy shop living at my seventh grade dream yesterday. So um, run to my Instagram and go watch it. But anyway, this is the shade Really Me, and I am obsessed with it. And then over top for lip gloss, this is Peach Petal, I think it is, by Revlon. And you guys know me. I always like my glossy, glossy lips. So these two pair together is beautiful. And then after that is done, this is the completed glowy makeup look. Okay, here's me talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did hope you all enjoyed it. I know you probably have already all clicked off by now, but if you're still here, I have other videos for you guys to watch. One right here, one right here. Click whichever one you are feeling. Um, I don't know, I like them both. So I click both, I tap both. Anyway, talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.